Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough on your way back through Trilby Highlands. You probably remember that there was a patch of land that I raised ages ago in the water, which is over here. And I'm just gonna explore this really quick. There's nothing really all that important in this area per se. I mean, there are kinstone pieces, of course, but I mean that there isn't anything uh, tremendously necessary in order for you to 100% the game. At least I don't think so. Yeah, there's not even any... Uh, oh, just a fairy fountain. <laughs> and there's more convenient fairy fountains at uh, other parts of the game, but you know what I, you know what I should do? I fill up my bottles. <laughs> Just, yep, yeah, nope, there we go. I guess as long as I'm here, why not fill up the bottles with fairies? They are a handy little tool to be used, I suppose. Uh, okay. Now, uh, before I go to the next location, I'm also going to go over to the Minish Woods to do a couple of fusions that are open. Don't worry, there's only two new fusions that you can do at this point in the game, so don't worry about it, and oh, 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 no, 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 there we go. <laughs> I want to go back over here to transform. I'm first going to go to the Elder, which is... You're the one I have to fuse with, right? Yes, you are. Leave through this door... Oh, wow, that's, that's really outdated. <laughs> Alright, look at all the red ones I've collected now, baby. <laughs> like I said before, earlier in the walkthrough, this is... I, I was expecting that I would be short mostly on green until I found the uh, really good exploit there back at the Wind Ruins. You know what would be great? A bomb that went off only when you wanted! Hmm, actually, I think I could probably make one with just a few minor tweaks. And this is... just outside where we just were. The reason I didn't go in there first, because I, I thought I would do everything at once. They fit beautifully! This is a sign of good things to come. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be short on kinstones for the rest of the walkthrough. Which is good. I would rather fuse with people as I go, just because it's a little bit simpler. Oh, why do, why do I do that? I need to go in the house. No. Okay, that wasn't that that inconvenient. <laughs> At last, it's complete. The remote bomb that blows up wherever you want. If you ever need normal bombs again, just trade me back for them. So, want to trade for remote bombs? Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. The remote bombs are fantastic. If you ever need, to, if you ever want to use normal bombs again, just come see me. And I will also fuse with him. I believe this makes uh, a, a a bomb bag upgrade appear at the Wind Ruins, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not gonna go back there right now for it. I'm, I'm just so like to stay on track more than anything. So yeah, it's right over there. If you would like to get that, it's not that far out of the way, I guess, but it's... Uh, I don't want to cut. <laughs> oh, and, uh... Well, no, wait, I'm, I'm done here. Never mind. Pardon me. And now I'm going to show you the remote bombs. See, there are a different colored bomb here. These remind me of Bomberman. That's partly why I love them so much. So you plop them. And they don't blow up on their own. You press the bomb button again to blow it up. The only disadvantage is that they that, that you can only drop one at a time, but let's be honest here. How often do you ever drop more than one bomb at a time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just messing around here, so let's go over to Progress Town. Well, not here per se. I'm actually going over to the next location. Remember the mark on the map? Uh, yeah, see that little check mark up there? That is the place that we are going. Because we upgraded our sword to have three elements infused with it, we will not have any issues going through this place. Yeah, remember this place? Yeah, look at that! This is blocked off by a three-block block, I guess you could say. 
and now you can push it aside. And if you don't remember this place, this is the place where I uh, uh, somehow didn't notice that the stairs went down, not up. <laughs> and uh, now that we're here, ah, now that we're here, um, this is a shortcut back. You definitely don't want to take that since you've just been through here. This chest, I did a kinstone fusion for this ages ago, and now I can finally open it. It's 200 mysterious shells. Alright, whoa geez. Big change in scenery. <laughs> so, what do you think, Link? Pretty dark and spooky, isn't it? Makes you want to cry, doesn't it? What? You're not scared? Well, good, neither am I. So, um... Come on, let's go. Let's go in deedly do. Oh, whoops! I dropped the bomb. Oh, look at that! Oh, this is a new enemy. It's known as a genie. G H I N I. Yeah, it's actually spelled like that. And in here, we've got ourselves a Nido upgrade. Be honest. Be truthful. And you will get the upgrade. I forgot what this uh, great fairy asks me, actually. Welcome to the Adventure Spring. Would you tell me some of the things you've seen on your adventures? Yeah, sure, why not? The first element you found was the fire element, was it not? No. Yes, I see. Now for the next question. Your grandfather's name is Smee, isn't it? No. Yes, I see. Now for the next question, copy pasta. Malari of Mount Crenel has seven apprentices, does he not? That is true. Yes, I see. Blabbernut. Uh. Ah, uh, I forgot the name of it. Is it Blabber or Gabber? I'm. I don't think. I think it's Gabber. Uh, um. No. I see. Thank you for telling me about your quest. You remember it all so well. Such a faith of memory should be rewarded with some of my power. Ah, so I did answer them all correctly. I am good. Well, maybe not that good. I'm actually surprised I remembered that. I don't have anything written down here. You got a large quiver, and now you can carry more arrows. May light shine on your quest. Ooh, and now my bow maxed out yeah I'm just acting weird for the heck of it <laughs> oh by the way if a guinea catches you it will literally lick you to death and you can shake yourself free with the d-pad <laughs> so don't get yourself licked by the guineas oh by the way um beware the red crows in this area they're actually a uh, uh, a different kind of enemy they're, they're known as Takuri, I think, but that's how it's pronounced or something like that. Well, they're not really all that different from a normal crow, except if they hit into you. Come on, hit into me. They'll knock rupees out of you. <laughs> so it's kind of like the Keatons in sort of a way, I guess you could say. Um, this is a way back, as you can tell. That's where... Arr, never mind, I'm not even going to say the name. <laughs> Alright, in here... Grab a piece of paper because we have one of these four path puzzle dealio thingies here. See, there's north, south, east, and west, and it says go up. So, what you would do here is, I guess, write an arrow upwards. So, let's go up and be where the, there's always a guinea in the middle of each of these. You always got to find the sign as well. And then you write down an arrow left, which I'm doing off camera here because I have terrible memory. <laughs> Although I somehow managed to pass the fairy's test, so maybe it's not that bad of memory. Same as before, so write down another left arrow. Oop. Oh no. Oh no you don't. Oh, I'm going to be trapped. Same as the beginning, and this is why you want to write down the directions. It, it seems like it's going to... Uh, be straightforward at first, but then you'll notice you gotta remember the order of things as well, and that wasn't up. If you wrote it down, you knew that wasn't up, and now, oof, that was a right. Jot down the right. Grab that rupee. Okay, that's optional. <laughs> uh, and same as two before, so that means this is an up. Nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. 
licking me to death. Your tongue is as abrasive as a cat's tongue. And we made it through the forests of doom. Actually kind of reminds me of the Lost Woods in a way, with the way that, you know, you got the multiple paths thing. Uh, which way should I go first? I, th I think this way to the left is a dead end right now. Just gonna... I don't... <laughs> Dang it. How dare you. It's unsanitary. Uh, yeah, it's blocked. I just want to show you around the area. I suppose that's what I'm doing here. Anyway, notice over here, there is a locked gate with some Triforce looking symbols. Uh, and over here, for some reason, I don't, I don't know why, the fog of war clears when you approach this house and meet Dompe the Gravekeeper. My name's Dompe. Dompe. I'm the grave digger here. What's that? You were called here by the ghost of a king? That would be the ancient king of Hyrule who rests here. I've seen him myself. Well, if the king has called you, I can't see any reason not to let you in. Here, take this graveyard key. And now... Wait, do you have anything else to say? My name's not Pam. Same thing. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh-oh. Ah! Oh! Ah, teamwork! My key! What's with that crawl? He up and flew off with the graveyard key! Charge after him and get that key! You bet I will. Wait the... What? A crow took the key and flew off into a tree? Well, don't just stand around the crow and get away. Charge at him and give that tree he's in a rattle if you want it back. So that's a hint that you need that. And we need to find the crow somewhere around here. I think it's actually up. Oh, that's it. Hua! Voila! So you met. Why did the light go out in this cutscene? So you managed to get the key back. Keep a tighter grip on it this time. At least now you can get into the graveyard. Boop. I don't know why the light went out for that cutscene. Was kind of odd. I'll open the gate for you. Be careful in there. And so he does. And here we are. Um, I don't think I need the lights anymore for now. I'm just trying to think what I need here. Oh, would you look at that? Some symbol, well, rainbow tiles on the ground. Um, this is kind of a, a puzzle of sorts, but yet not quite that much of a puzzle. You see, the graves around this area, you can't... Uh, you you see you need three links to put on that on those switches. That's that's obvious right there. But with the way the graves are situated, you cannot get through here without you know the links popping. Anyway, let's talk to the ghost. What are you doing here? This is a graveyard. There are ghosts here. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, my brother lives in Hyrule Town. He's a troublesome prankster, but I often wonder how he's doing. Well, let's find out, shall we? Fuse kinstones with Spookter while you're here. Spookter the Specter, and this has nothing to do with his brother actually. Doing this will open up. Actually, I haven't played that game, have I? Yeah, I haven't been in this building yet. Hey, I've I've just hit a, a on a great idea. This will add a little more risk. <laughs> I'm so excited! I can't wait to get started. Uh, this is a guessing mini game that you can win stuff at Hyrule Town. Yeah, it's over there. It's open by now. I just never went into it up at until this point in the game, so yeah, they fit perfectly. I have a good feeling about this. So anyway, you want to look around for graves that you can move. I'm gonna move this one first off, because there's a heart piece down here. Mm, there we go. Push! Push! Yeah! Just teleported to the main link. Alright, let's get out of here. I think that's the only one that moves, actually, aside from the middle one. Uh, I'll just go through them here really quick. This is the one that moves, because that's the one that blocks your way. There's nothing down there, though. Or I should say nothing underneath it. And, and yeah, you do have to hold up for a little while to make sure that the grave is going to move. You just can't, like, gently touch it by pressing up and pushing it, pushing on it for a split second. It, it takes a, a little bit to register. 
I, I don't want to say register, it takes a little bit to push, because it knows it's pushing on it. Anyway, now... Voila! Now just navigate your way around here, careful not to lose any links. Oh, 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 psyched you out. And there we go. That opens the grave up there. Oh, shoot! Should I have talked to that grave first? Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, I, I, don't, I don't know if it had anything that I could read on it, actually, but I don't feel like replaying that segment. <laughs> so anyway, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we see what is under the grave. Ooh.